My name is Vincent Long. I'm a professional photographer. One, two, three, seven. My name is Vincent Long. I'm a professional photographer. I'm based in Brisbane, Australia. I shoot predominantly people and reportage. I work for editorial, advertising, and some direct commercial clients. Editorial doesn't pay a lot necessarily, but it does enable you to meet a lot of people and to go a lot of places and see a lot of things that I really couldn't do without this photography passport. I got sent up to a mining site outside Cloncurry to do a shoot for a magazine and just met some amazing old guys who'd just been mining all the whole lives, you know. Um, Meeting, meeting fashion designers in, in faraway places, talking to people who've been living overseas for 25, 30 years at a time. It's just things that, I, if I walked up to someone and said, can I come in, into your house and talk to you about your life, you know, and, and just interfere with your life for two hours, they'd probably just tell me, to, no, no, go away. But with photography, it's a little bit like journalism. It's a, it's a license to discover. Uh, a recent interesting job was uh, a, an editorial commission for a, a weekend colour supplement. It was the Catholic Church and the priest of the church was you know, running a sort of quite a controversial service if you like. I decided to bring a, uh, a smoke machine and a rather large light. Normally I work with flash gear and available light and I know and that's quick for me and I can work quickly and it doesn't get in the way of things. We were setting up for one of the shots had the big HMI light pumping down through the church. I turned around and there was the priest sitting on the floor with a dog in the middle of the church. Now I said, hold it right there, flipped the light around, didn't bother setting up too much lighting, didn't want to ruin the moment, took some shots. The one image I chose was the priest sitting on the floor with the dog. You know, and I knew it too, I knew that was the best one, that was the one that had really captured the moment. My ego was put to one side and the moment I was commissioned to capture was there. I had a recent commission in Venice to uh, bring back a photo essay on summer in Lido, which is an island on the edge of Venice, if you like. So I was able to wander the beaches and streets of the Lido for two or three days and, and produce a body of work of about mm, 10 images. For me, when I'm, I get those kind of commissions, it's great because I can just interpret and, and bring back what I see and I learned to look for things and I learned to try and see things that I, I know to see things that aren't, aren't always found and it's like having some putty and, and, and some play-doh or something or a box of Legos you can you can build something out of it uh, the stuff you can see behind me here is uh, plastic camera work a holder plastic camera um, commercially working it's quite so I've got to be quite precise and quite hardcore about how I like how I expose, or who's in the frame, what's in the frame. Spontaneous um, photography is what I get from a whole group. I look for light with that thing. It's basically F16 and 1 and 25th. It keeps things very simple and spontaneous, and I'm basically just painting with light on a film surface. It wouldn't be possible to get that kind of spontaneous imagery with a point and shoot, proper, a proper camera, if you like. This is for me, this stuff, and other people find it pleasurable, that's even better. <laughs>